What does any normal person do when they can't sleep? Yeah, that's right. They make a base on the dog's bed. And then they get their iPad. And then they make coffee and some sort of breakfast salami cheese night. So it's about five o'clock in the morning now. And I've been awake since two. I've spent my time really really sensibly by editing together my last video when I first woke up which took about half an hour I guess because I'm using a uh, mobile phone app to edit everything so all the cuts are really shoddy if you wonder why anyway that's why I'm using free software that's available for mobile if anybody knows anyone a better software than we video that would be cool let me know watched a few bits of vlogs on youtube said and you've had your uh, weird sort of cheese and bread selection might as well just settle in for the rest of the night and uh what rest of the night sorry what are you talking about rest of the morning actually and um watch weird horror films on youtube why not I found a film called Fertile Ground. It's going to be pretty shit, I imagine, but never mind. The following are my reactions to the film Fertile Ground. Toilet is bubbling. Uh, We're all at Fitz Pasties, best pasties on the reckons in Cornwall, and sitting by. And the viaduct, which the train goes over, so that goes down to St. Ives on that line. And we're all just sitting, chilling out, gonna have a pasty. Ah. That's my pasty, I'm gonna put my hand by it to compare. It's like, it's huge, and it's delicious, and filled with goodness. I mean, just look at this deliciousness. Potato, swede, steak, lovely pastry. As a rule, I hate shopping, really do. And so I just end up waiting outside shops a lot of the time with the two dogs. Why not? Standing still with two stupid dogs. So I realised over the last couple of videos that I haven't really given an update on the homelessness situation. But I kind of want to remind everyone that if it wasn't for the wonderful people that I get to call my family, my mum, my dad and my brother, me and my little family would be uh, currently in a random hostel somewhere in Northampton or a B&B, &B, um, possibly without access to washing and cleaning facilities for Allura, clothes, um, without cooking facilities for us to be able to eat and with nowhere to stay during the day if it's a B&B &B also we'd have to sign out by a certain time and um, yeah just travel around and find libraries and shopping centres and things to stay in so we are very very truly blessed to have wonderful family to look after us also today I called up all the relevant agencies uh, and companies to let them know that I wasn't at the property anymore, cancelled all the services with them uh, and stopped all uh, bills going to there and got them to change them when they could to e-billing because I do still have access to email obviously and I feel quite good that I got that done today. Uh, also found out any outstanding amounts that I have with them so they're all ready to be put into some sort of payment plan. Um, to speak to a company called Step Change, who are a debt 
uh, advice charity set up by the government, I believe, government funded, uh, to advise, advise people on their debt. So now I've got all the relevant bits of information together, I can start making headway as to how to start making payments towards uh, my outstanding uh, debts. Um, of an information now that I can give to uh, Step Change and they can help me make a plan on how to move forward with my debt problems. After doing all the horrible stuff today, I took myself for uh, a long walk on my own with no dogs, no baby, no girlfriend and just sort of wanted to clear my head. Weather's even worse today. Absolutely miserable. But I'm out. I'm gonna get a walk in it. As soon as you put the water in my beard, that's from the rain. Uh, decided to walk into town just to have a breather and stuff. Uh, so I'm taking shelter in the railway tunnel just for five minutes. Uh, then I got to walk back and get wet again. But it's quite nice. It's kind of refreshing. The, uh, down upon you. Stopped in a nice little coffee shop and had a coffee when I got to the other end of Hale. got some of the stuff done that I needed to do and had time to go and just be a human being and not panic all the time. Got home, made some food, made a nice cauliflower cheese and that's what we did for the whole day really. Yeah.